I just met in Gadget. Today we're looking at the Xperia S, Sony Ericsson's other flagship phone. Now, as you can tell, it looks a lot like the Arc, uh, but this time there's been a few upgrades. Now there's a dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor, and now this time the screen is now a HD 720p display. It's still got the reality display, and if you zip along, you'll find that dual core takes it pretty damn fast. Camera wise, on the back, you've got a 12 megapixel shooter with flash. And on the front, the front camera is also capable of 720p video, while the back one is capable of full PC video. Taking a tour of the hardware, on the side here you have the micro USB port. Can we think of. You can get it open there. And I can start it from here. Well, moving around to the base. You'll see a little speaker. On the other side, you have a dedicated camera button, which is another two-stage camera button, the volume rocker, and the micro HDMI output. Now at the top, you have the power switch and the headphone jack. On the bottom, you can see the new see-through bar. In fact, the antenna is embedded into this, and if you take a very good close look, there's actually a few dots that actually act as the aerial. Uh, the capacitive buttons are actually above the screen, and the symbols, again, like most of the other Xperia phones, are back, home, and menu. Let's go back to, going back to the menus. It's actually running Android 2.3.7. Uh, we don't know exactly about Gingerbread just yet, but given Sony Ericsson's going to be upgrading the uh, older phones in March, we do expect to see it on this one set too. Uh, this one is also uh, HSPA, uh, well, compared to the Iron, which is just LTE. Anyway, this is just a quick hands-on. Hopefully we'll get a review in the next few months. This has been Matt at Engadget.